Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons. And in this lesson, we're going to do some more work on triple thumbing, double thumbing, drop thumbing, and the bum ditty. And there's a reason I'm doing this. I think this is very important to review. And uh, before we get started, I do want to thank my patrons who are giving to make these lessons possible. Uh, for everyone, I truly appreciate uh, their giving and their help and letting this be a continued uh, success as far, so that I can I can focus on doing these lessons and getting new lessons out every week. Uh, I really could not do it without them. So thank you for that. Uh, also, I'm going to recommend that you watch the entire video all the way through, as I always do, but particularly in this lesson, because I need you to really focus on what I'm saying and listening more than to what I'm even doing, because you know these techniques. Um, but I think one of the things is when I'm when I'm teaching, because this is kind of my signature, uh, the way that I play is it's my signature in that I do a lot of triple thumbing and I do a lot of double thumbing. Um, but what you need to understand is those are all interchangeable. Whether I do a triple thumb, a double thumb, a drop thumb, or a bum ditty, it always one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and. It's still just four beats. So if I said do a drop thumb, you don't really have to do a drop thumb. You could do a bum ditty. If I said do a triple thumb, you could really choose to do a double thumb. There's there's not much difference uh, between some of these things that we're doing. They are all one, two, three, four. So let's start. We're gonna we're gonna use uh, the tune uh, "Boil Them Cabbages Down" to um, to teach this. So we're gonna play two. Because you're using four beats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if we did that as a bum ditty, which is a basic claw hammer move, you can play. So the only difference between that and hesitation, and that's what I call it, all right? That's my term. So when I'm teaching and I say hesitation, what I'm saying to do is instead of a bum ditty, is you're doing the bum T. You're leaving off the dit. Bum T. If you were to count that, it would be one, two, and three, four, and. So you're playing on the offbeat. be one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. Now, here's something that's really very difficult to do. Try going back and forth between the claw hammer or the bum ditty. Some people call that the claw hammer because it's the same, it's the same bum ditty, you know, bum ditty, claw hammer. You can call it what you want. Um, try going back and forth between the bum ditty and the hesitation. So it could be like this. You could do it this way. Bum ditty, hes uh, I'm sorry. Bum ditty, hesit. I can't talk and, and play at the same time. Bum ditty hesitation. Bum ditty hesitation. Which doesn't work so well when you're trying to do the timing. It's still one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. 
You see how they're interchangeable. That's why I want you to be able to play them back to back. All right, if you were doing drop thumb, which is you're hitting the first string, second string with your thumb, first string, and then the fifth string. So try mixing that up. So you could do it this way. Every one of those is interchangeable. You could play that 50 different ways. One, so just listen to the beats. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. If we just did the first one, that's with the bum ditty. Here's with the hesitation. Here's the drop thumb. You see how that's all interchangeable. All right, let's do the double thumbing. So it's going to go one, two, and three, and four, and it's all the same. One, two, and three, and four, and. So I'm just going to do this first measure, or this first, yeah, the first measure of the tune. Bum diddy, bum diddy. Here's your hesitation. Bum diddy, I'm sorry, it's the hesitation, but it's bum ti bum ditty. Let's do it a different way. One, two, and three, four, and. One, two, and three, four, and. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. So that was the double thumb. But you see how they're all again interchangeable. It doesn't matter which one you do. If I say do a drop thumb and you want to do a triple thumb, do a triple thumb. If you want to do a double thumb, and I know this will take time to sink in, but once you get the hang of this, it's it's really very, very easy to switch back and forth. So let's do the triple thumbing. One, two, and three, and four, and. hear the difference I'm going to do that song through with double thumbing and basically what what the difference that you're going to hear is you're going to hear the melody note more or repeated where with the triple thumbing you're going to hear it at the beginning of each measure so here's double thumbing sorry Again. 
is triple thumbing. Here's your timing for a triple thumbing. One, two, and three, and four, and. Again, here's timing for double thumbing. Here's your drop thumbing. Here's your hesitation. Here's your bum ditty. But I, I think as I'm doing this, you can see why sometimes when I'm teaching, I'll get mixed up on the triple thumbing and the double thumbing, what I'm telling you, because they're so easy to interchange. And sometimes as I'm teaching it, I, I just get confused myself of what I just said, because again, these are not written down in tabs. Uh, these are just out of my head as I'm teaching them. So I don't mean that I'm out of my head. Yeah, you get you get what I'm saying there. Um, so I would really practice and get these down. And and I really think as you continue in these lessons, if you if you really understand this double triple thumbing stuff and how it's all interchangeable, and how you can do really what you want, not only will that open up your playing and allow these tunes that I'm teaching you to become your tunes because you can switch them around, I think you'll follow the instruction a lot easier. So I hope that's helped. Uh, I, I really am enjoying teaching these lessons, and I really hope that they're sinking in for you. So uh, we will see you on the next lesson. Thank you so much for watching, and please share. Please help get the word out. Thanks so much. Bye.